Hello, it's noon, it's Friday, it's a musicale from First Unitarian Society. My name is Linda Warren. I'm the assistant music director here at the First Unitarian Society and running sound and helping us do the live stream is our music director, Drew Collins. So thank you very much to Drew. We're starting this morning with uh, some old music. First from Johann Sebastian Bach, um, we stole another solo unaccompanied violin movement. This is the Sarabande from Violin Partita Number no. 1. And because it was transcribed for harp by Mr. Marcel Grangeny, it's uh, pretty lush and, and quite beautiful. And then uh, I have often played the Sonata Number no. 6 by Mr. Notterman, Francois-Joseph Notterman, a French harpist who lived from 1773 to 1835. This is his Sonata Number no. 5, which uh, in F major is, is quite a fun piece.
The next three pieces I like to play in a group because they're all in the same key and it happens to be my favorite key, E flat major. I like E flat major because it has just enough flats, not too many, but it has enough and it's very resonant key on the harp, so I like that very much as well. First, The Nocturne for Harp by Mikhail Glinka, a Russian composer, 1804 to 1847 is when he lived. Then we'll leap forward to the 20th century, a jazz piece by a harpist named Pearl Chertok. She was a previous president of the American Harp Society, a really, really great person piece called The Beige Nocturne. And then the last of this group is called Upon the Willows, and it's by Brooke Body. He is one of the few people in the country besides myself who is a working professional church musician and organist who also plays concert harp. And he has written a lot of lovely pieces. And I noticed that this piece Upon the Willows is dedicated to his mother, and so I'll play it in memory of my mother as well today. Thank you. 
The next piece on the program by Skyla Kenga. She is a harpist from the United Kingdom, written and many wonderful pieces, which I have played on these recitals and, and other places. Uh, just a really great person and a wonderful harpist and a, and a great composer. This is her evening prayer. And then two pieces from our favorite, Kim Robertson. She's a harpist in Milwaukee, um, performs all over the world, and has done so many wonderful arrangements. First, an Irish tune called Cape Clear, uh, and this is her arrangement of that. And then the second one is titled Beauty in Tears. It's a tune by Turlock O'Carolan. And this year is the 350th anniversary of the birth of Turlock O'Carolan. So a lot of harpists all over the place are, are trying to really pay attention to his music in a special way and, and do some performances of that. Thank you. 
closing today's program with two pieces uh, by Laura Zarr. First, an original piece called The Wide-Eyed Waltz. Laura adopted uh, an infant baby boy when she was older than some people might have been adopting infant baby boys. And uh, she wrote this piece for him when he was quite wide awake and she was quite sure it was time for him to go to sleep. And then closing the program with an arrangement that Laura did of Wondrous Love, um, a favorite hymn tune of mine. Uh, it's, it's an American hymn tune and really a very special, unique, different, wonderful arrangement of Wondrous Love. And then just a comment from me, uh, while all of this is going on, the one thing I keep holding on to is hope and the word hope. And I happened to be watching uh, the movie, The Shawshank Redemption the other day. And I know that Andy Dufresne was speaking directly to me when he said this. Remember, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. And that's my word for the day, hope.
Well, thank you very much if you made it this far for joining us today. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be able to share the gift of music among all of us. Next week, we'll be right back here, and uh, we will be featuring the compositions and arrangements of Mr. Mark Hayes. I am a big fan of his for many years. Uh, he's a fabulous composer and pianist, and I'll be playing some piano solos and also be joined by the fabulous Heather Thorpe, uh, who's also on staff here and is um, a soprano who we work together a lot, and she'll be singing some of his arrangements as well. Thank you again for joining us, and hope you all have an excellent week. Thank you. <laughs>